We're here at the NAM show on the SE Rupert Neve Everybody Else booth to look at a new collaboration between SE and Rupert Neve Designs and it's this rather wonderful looking microphone that Jonathan is going to tell us all about because I know nothing about it. Here we have the Rupert Neve 2 microphone, otherwise known as the RNT, which is the third collaboration between Rupert Neve and SE Electronics, producing Rupert's ultimate expression of transformer-based tube microphone design. Um, we have a unique capsule that Zwei and his team have worked very hard, very painstakingly on, that produces a really wonderful sound. It's open but very warm. Some of the more unique features of the microphone are, of course, because it's Rupert Neve, we have no pad here on the, uh, between the microphone and the electronics itself. We have a nice direct coupling. But what ends up being special about this is we have a very wonderful power unit that's over here, which is the floor box, which has literally the output drive and section from a 5088. So we have the op class A uh, high voltage op amp drive and transformer from the 5088 in the floor box, which allows a truly wonderful sound. There's also an input transformer for the floor box. So you have fantastic coupling of tone. You have the signature Rupert Neve sound. Um, it has a very flexible set of features which include a high pass filter, in the box at the right point, not between the capsule and the mic, but actually in the electronics, and there's an output attenuator because it's capable of such significant levels that you can, it actually has a plus 12, zero, and negative 12 position, which again, is not a pad for the microphone or the electronics, but an output attenuator. Hmm. So that stays cleaner. So in terms of patterns, is this a fixed pattern microphone no, or this very is, pattern? this is in fact a multi-pattern microphone. Okay. And, and again, on the, on, the, uh, on the box you'll see the pattern selector and the nice big red knob, yeah. a signature for both companies. So is that selectable pattern or continually variable? It is selectable. Selectable. And, uh, with, I believe, 11 positions. Yeah. Okay. So is the microphone going after any specific vintage sound or is this an entirely well, new approach? It's really primarily a new approach because we felt like there are a lot of people chasing the 47, there are a lot of people chasing the C12 or ELM 251 right now. Um, we wanted to do something that was more individual and more unique. Um, you know, signature aspects of all the SE electronics are extremely linear mid-range. So, not heavily peaked in the mid-range, but also extreme wide range. So, really deep, warm, low end, but a nice open top, but not overly bright at the unfortunate frequency of 6K that so many people have selected. Yeah. Well, it certainly looks attractive, so we need to know about pricing and availability, if you've got that. Uh, the availability is uh, right after the NAM show or during the NAM show in some cases. Okay. Uh, in other words, we have a few at the dealers right now and many more coming in directly. Um, U.S. map price is uh, $3,249 and the MSRP is $3,499. We look forward to trying it, as I'm sure we will. Yeah. It's a wonderful sounding piece. We're very pleased about this and we feel that um, both the industrial design, the sound, the robustness of it, and of course the floor unit make for a really great package. Thanks, Jonathan. Thank you so much, Paul.